Good morning, good morning. It's Sunday. It's time for Malmesley Cricket Club car boot. If it's on, it should be on. Check the Facebook last night. All's well. I can't lie though. The weather does look a bit unnerving. The sky's black. It felt a bit damp in the air. I've got to be honest. I reckon we'll probably get half an hour around here before the heavens open. But let's hope that's not the case. Um got a bud who's already there at the minute in the queue he said there's people queuing already for buying i'm literally just about to pull up i'll get the trolley out we'll get in the queue gates open at 8 a.m so we've got a 20 minute wait but early bird gets the worm and all that so let's get first in the queue run straight in clear all them bargains up for everybody else let's have it see you at the boot sale Not making that mistake again. <sighs> Let's go. How are ya? I didn't see your car. Yeah, in the, I, f I was in the JC practice car park where I sent you the pin. Yeah, yeah. I was like, is he here or not? Nah, no, no, what you say, man, you're good. Yeah, man, I'm good. Go in. Yeah, let's go, Dal. <laughs> oh, he leaves everyone in the dust, mate, on that. I'm, I'm going to walk onto that like a trailer next time and jump in the back. <laughs> yeah. Or should we do second? Because they might all be set up. Let's do this one. There you go, mate. Strimmer. Got her. Got her. Oh, I remember you. I had the fire engine set off you. A couple of weeks back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> MG Books. 50p. I'll tie that one, please. Thank you. If you've got Stephen King's, yeah. Yeah. Oh, they are no, it's just some up there as there's well. Eight, uh, there's some on the bottom. Julie uh, <coughs> Walters got your name written all over that one. Nah. <laughs> Stephen King's for me. Okay, I don't think so. No, that's all right. Thank you for looking. <laughs> Yeah. 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 What is that? Is that like a dressing gown set? Yeah, it's like a, it's what they call it, a snuddy thing or a Oh, okay. It's like one of those. Is it uh, adults or a kid's? Uh, yeah, a bit of both. It's, it says medium to large. I bought it for the wife, basically. And so, she never wore know, it. Yeah. <laughs> we after on that? About five quid for that one. Have a good look. It's brand new. She never yeah, wore it. yeah. It's a Christmas present as usual. Yeah, that's nice. I stuck it in the corner. <laughs> well, thanks. Yeah. Thank you. I'd probably end up doing the same, she probably yeah. wouldn't wear it. <laughs> yeah. All right, thanks, bud. No worries, cheers, mate. Yeah.
And we'll see books in the box. Three for two quid? Lovely stuff. Thank you. Thank you very much. What's the price on your books? Books. Fifty pence each. Fifty pence each. Okay. I just want to get don't take a note. I don't read too many, but it's not. Okay. Two there. Thank you. Thank you. Excuse me, is it your store? Yeah. And we just calculate that? Okay. Yeah, I've just seen it, yeah. And what about the Xbox game? Three pound for the buff? Yeah. Mm. Have you got any change? Thank you. <clears throat> Empty scarves. Pound each, mate? Yeah, go on. Two there. Uh, I'll take that one as well. Lovely. Cheers, Thanks a lot. Right. Okay. Might be alright just to wrap a helmet in, to be fair. Yeah. What, you got on that? 50 yeah, go on. Sorry. Right. Cheers, mate. Cheers, thank you. Complete Sherlock Holmes. It says Jane Austen on it. Oh, Jane Austen, yes. <laughs> yeah, I've left Sherlock Holmes at home. <laughs> How much is that? A couple of quid. Yeah, go on. Gotta clear all these cuts around. <laughs> <laughs> What's in the, is that motocross gear? Yeah. Um, is it kids or adults? No, it's adults. Can I look at that? Yeah. <clears throat> More to pull it out of the bag? Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Brand new, never used. Is it the jersey as well? Yeah. What, what have you got on the set? Um, quite a lot for a penny. The jersey's big enough for you to get armour on underneath. I always put mine on the top. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of, lot of riders do, yeah. I'll have a think on those. Thanks, bud.
Can you that, please? Okay. Yeah, I'll take that, please. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, crikey. I thought my hands were big. Sorry, yes, they do make noises, but the batteries <laughs> are running down. Ah, it's all right. Thank you. <laughs> what have you got on the car to your window back? I uh, wanted a five. Uh, well, I, I was going to say a five, but before. it hasn't got the charger. It's got everything else in there. It's got the extra bottle, the extra. Have blade. a quick look. Yep, it's been sitting in the garage because I've had a window feeder instead. Ah, <laughs> so five, huh? Yeah, yeah I love that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. How much is the uh, uh, the ring? Oh, we don't have the people. You don't have the people. <laughs> <laughs> I've told you, selling's good. Uh, the ring, £2. £2. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We just don't have the people. It's just really hard to get the people. It's really hard to get the poles in, and they're kind of a bit tangled. I always thought they came with the collapsible floors. That's good. And the shoes? £3. I'll take those, please. Thank you. I never knew there was shoes that clean in I've got an app for those to light them up and stuff. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. I'm glad you said, because I wouldn't have... Yeah, if you Google the thing, download the app, and you can get them all, like, do different lights and stuff. Have you got any change? Uh, what did I say? Three. Okay. They would have been two pound if they didn't have the light up thing yet, right? I could take the lights out. Have you got anything smaller? Nothing. Uh, well... I have, but I've got two pound fifty. Yeah, one, two. No, oh, thank you. My partner bought me that. Two fifty. Thank you. I think she thinks that it's me when I go out on my mountain bike. To bear. Thank you. Oh, I'm having a quick look. You never know. They might. You're a good salesman. <laughs> Oh, is that Rasta Mouse? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How much is he? You ain't. What do you reckon? One. Go on, man. You can take the t shirt off, but it's just really, really hard. Oh, I'm in the same oh, predicament okay. now. Oh, yeah. Um, do you want to just come back? I was Where just going to ask. You sure? Yeah. And I'll pop back. Yeah, okay, brilliant. Thank you. Oh, if you see any Stephen Kings. Oh. Let me know. And just as I said that. <laughs> yeah. Empty the books. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Any good then? What about these? High tech? No, I never do any good with high tech. Yeah. Oh, have you got any change? Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, try and avoid giving twenties. Oh thank you. How much are you Hoover accessory bits in this box? Pound each. Take three, please. Okay. Thank you. She gets so excited. Is there any change? Cheers, Thank you. Thank you. No problem. So I've, I don't think I've finished yet. I've no, seen another couple of things, so yeah. thank you. Top man. Good man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
What have you got on the, uh, the night? Yeah, go on. Thank you. Oops. Thank you. Oh, it's Thank you. Very much. MG DS games. Uh, oh. Yeah, I'll tell them three, please. Yeah, I'll have those. So I owe you 50p. In fact, there's a... Is that 50p as well? Yeah. Lovely. I'll just check that's in there as well. Great stuff. Yeah, thank you. Are there any more games in there at the bottom, do you know? Or Let's have a pull out. Oh, okay. Nah. Although that said, <laughs> no, we'll take that because that's quite current at the minute with the uh, with the Ocean Gate uh, malarkey no, with the no. submarine. Thank you, Rock. <laughs> See, you got to think what's current, mate. Yes, definitely. Thank you. I know that ain't going to be cheap. Go on. It's only 25. That's cheaper than I thought it was going to be. What size is it? Oh, we bought it for the lad and it was, it was peanuts. It's big for it. Yeah. Should say, I need to be fair. There you go. Medium. Yeah. I just clocked it. Youth medium. Yeah, YM. Is that Mark White gear as well or is it? No, that's just a type of dark jacket. We cheeky enough, you 20? Go on, Ed. Yeah, I love that. Top man. Lovely stuff. All the bag, carry bag and everything's in there. Perfect, thank you. Surprise, that's still there. Everyone wants to, they only want to spend 50p each round here. Yeah, Top go. man. Yeah. <clears throat> Wicked. How much you got on them? Definitely all in there. Yeah, definitely all in there. And that one as well. I did a two full of five on the two. Look. I've done what I have to check it all. Go on then, two for a fiver, yeah? Oh, I've got the trolley, thank you. Thank you. And what have you got on your Wii games? Um, 50 pence each. I'll have a quick look or, through, or see what you've quid. got. I might have got a lot of them. Oh, that one's... Some of them are sealed, though. Oh, I'll, I'll give them a miss. Pine lot, but I've got pine lot. Ah, yeah. I'll, I'll give them a miss. Thank, right, you. thank you. Everything's cheap, have a look. All the perfumes at the end, they're all 10p. It's always four for a pound. 10p here. The 10p playing cards are brand new. I've only got a pack left now. 10p a pack, keep the playing cards. <laughs> 10p playing cards brand new. It's at 50 p's worth. Okay, thank you. Gonna have 12 for a pound? Nah, that'll do me. <laughs> Ta. You've always got some weird and wonderful stuff. I had some bits off your, uh, was it last weekend at Mighty Pole? Maybe. Yeah. People think it's a lot of crap, but you know what? 
looking? Nah, are you going to... Anything in the box. There's £20p in the box down here. I want £2 on that. It's a brand new set. I've even got a candle making set here, two pounds, all in there, brand new. Got the wicks and the pink in there, that's really good, that is a lot of money. Some old ones in there, you know, mate. Comics. Oh, there, well, this is the comics, mate. They're very, very old, but I'm lying, I'm not even lying to you. You'd be surprised. No, I oh, know that. for 10 and 15 pounds each. Some of them will be, yeah. The whole box now off me. I dig it 12, there's 45 in there. Yeah. And I was asking a pound each. I go when I'm gone, I do you 12 pounds the whole box. And they're all retail, I'm not joking, they're always in 10. There's 45, you sell them at a pound each, you've got 45 quid back. But I just want 12 pounds the whole lot. I'll do a tenner, tenner the whole lot tackle. Go on. And there is some vintage ones in there, have a look at the bottom. I'll take a chance on them. <laughs> one second, one second. Uh, so two pounds and two pounds, sorry. And then come in now, love, sorry. Ta. Oh, you just say ten, I get ten. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Okay, come awesome. Sorry, right, thank you. I look forward to seeing you guys. <laughs> oh, thank you. How much of the bits down here, mate? Yeah, you, you choose which one you over there. How much is that one? You need 50p. Yeah, I'll take that, please, mate. You want the ratchet? I don't know that one. Box of ratchet. How much is it? How much you want for it? I want tenner. Tenner? Ten. Yeah. You can't get for ten, I'm telling you. Up here. There you go, mate. Thank you, mate. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Take three. Thank you. Seventy, eighty, ninety-five, a pound. Thank you. Thank you very much. How much is your ink cartridge? Three pounds, brand new. I don't know what it's, which one it's for, so. Canna, old canna. You take two for you? Thank you. Ah, thank you very much. Thank you. I only do that because I know you keep loads in the back and keep topping it all. Right, so it's all in there. Has it ever been, it's never been opened. Look, brand new in the back. Oh, okay. I want two pounds on that. Could it take the expensive online? Click, does it now? Want some movie quiz? Huh? Two? Yeah, is that okay? Go on, yeah. I've got the Star Electric there to go a pound on it. It's all in there. No, I never do very well with them. But you know what? They're expensive hot wheels, it now. Pound if you want it. Oh, I'll leave that one to. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, the Emery paper.
Oh. Thank you. Have a good day. How much is that? Did you come for that before? I, I, I had some bits off you, but you'll never believe these. I just bought one of those Karcher window vacs, and the yes. woman goes, there's no charger with it, oh, you and you've got the charger. Yeah, on the table, yeah, I just I chucked think... in the box. I said that's the Karcher's How much is that? 50p. Lovely. I'll tell you what then, is there another attachment or anything? That's yeah, a... yeah, yeah, go for it. You'll know, I've not used one before. Is it all right? Yeah. yeah, I'll take those two for a pen then, please. <laughs> Chances of that happening. Well, Thank you. A few moments later. <sighs> right then. That was what I would consider a wild one the weather did not look promising at all but despite the fact that there were only three rolls that's one of the best weeks i've had in a while so i better give you a rundown of this now as we load into the car so let's open all this up let's get our base down and we'll go through it so we've got little 3d stranger things frames all right and that was 30p i'm sure that will sell we've got a brand new wacom drawing tablet uh, i think that was a few quid oh, i've lost track to be honest i'm gonna have to go back through the uh the video myself to work out what i pay for things it might have been a fiver but I opened it up there and then at the store. Pen still wrapped in cellophane, so it's it's new. It's definitely worth more than what I pay for it. And that's that. I then from the same store I paid 12 quid for this after a bit of haggling off camera. I thought I was done. I turned the camera off at this point. Um it's a editing station for VHS, which I thought was a bit obviously it's getting a bit old hat technology now, but the likes of people that you know still edit vhs and mini dv stuff you know wedding wedding uh videos uh and you know people that convert that kind of media i'm sure they'll fancy a bit of that so in this box here we've got lady did me a deal simpsons comics um some sealed some not she reckoned she counted and there was 45 in here. She made a whole box for a tenner. I don't know if I've messed up. <sighs> You've got to learn, ain't you? So I grabbed those. Simpsons, there's always going to be Simpsons fans out there. Let's just see if there's Simpsons fans out there for that. Put that on the bottom, that's a bit heavy. What else have we got? Oh yeah, I like this one. I've got a Fox Youth motocross helmet. Geezer reckons he's lit them wore it once. And that was that. Now that is a beautiful helmet. It's still got the tag on. So I don't see how it can be worn. Um, yeah. Really, really nice helmet that. I'm pretty sure that that's very expensive. I've not even price checked it yet. He asked 25 for it. I came in with a really cheeky low ball at 20 and he took it. I mean, I know it's new, as in like a newish release, because it's got the new MIPS technology on it, which is like a, a slow speed impact protection technology that's just been released. Uh, it's actually in the helmet I'm looking at getting myself soon. I wish this fit me. Because it's an absolute beauty. But I guess when I sell this, that'll go towards buying my own anyway. But bags in there, manuals in there, and I've got the box. So I'm putting that one down as like my best purchase of the day, to be quite honest. Yeah, that's 20 quid. That was a really good one. A uh, couple of Monopoly games Monopoly Speed, Monopoly Cash Decoder two for a five hour the woman reckons she's been in there and everything's in there i pulled the cases had a look myself 
it did all look like it was there, but we'll see better when we get home. Again, another sealed Harry Potter, the ultimate movie quiz. All looks to be in there. All the cards are sealed. So I think that's that's all going to be there. That's all good. Uh, we've got a... I don't know how to say this brand. Fiorelli leather handbag. I hope she knows that she sold these. I wish she'd have cleaned it out, but... There's bloody packs of tissues and glasses, cloths and all sorts in here. A sewing kit. I don't know. People are mad. But that was three quid. Uh, got a science museum mechanic hot rod and race truck. Sealed. That was two quid. We have got a um, jelly cat plush. That was like a quid, I think. And uh, da, 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 a pair of night kiddies trainers. They were two quid, three quid. Not sure. Don't even know if they're real. They look it. Yeah, they look it. Yep. They're cool. Somebody will enjoy them. Uh, I've got a Impact Kamasa Impact Driver. That was two quid. Just bought one of these recently for a job I was doing, but uh doesn't even look like it's seen any any blows or impacts actually so yeah that's worth that all day long that'll be for the personal collection uh, an osprey leather key ring like leather tassels that's nice that was 150 one of the last doors i went to uh 50p on a wooden toy haynes manual uh pad like 10 p's and 50 p's on these these will be going to brum reseller for his uh, red brick stall, always help from reseller out. He's the guy that got me into this YouTube malarkey. So, uh, we've got some books here. These were 50p's each. More Stephen King's in there. Got me a nice OS uh, Explorer map of Y Valley. It's the active map with the waterproof pages. And I spotted that the digital code hasn't been scratched off either so that's worth a couple of quid easily uh, we've got some multi-sport magazines three editions there for a pound uh, we've got some Disney plushies we've got Winnie the Pooh and Tigger uh, both those have got the Disney tags on with the holographic stickers so they can go with the ones I've already got we got Rasta Mouse. He was a bit of fun. I think he was like a quid, 50p. I've not actually seen a plush version of him before, so yeah, thought I'd grab that for a bit of fun. And another Stephen King. That would have been like 50p. We got some John Frieda curlers. I think she she started off at a fiver for these. And uh, I think I knocked her down to three quid in the end hopefully they work they look clean enough she reckons she only used them once so yeah yeah uh, i got a sale cannon cartridge here bc02 asking three knocked them down to two brand new sealed cartridges always go well always 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 got some sealed packs of retro shell petrol petroleum company cards here 10 pit pack she had a pack open, I had a look in. They were quite nice, actually. I thought sealed in that. I know a man for those, Mr. Isaac. And if he doesn't want all of them, I'll uh, bang the rest on eBay. See what we can get for them. Playing cards. We've also got a little retro jigsaw puzzle for kids. Made in Malta. You don't see that often. I thought that was quite nice. I grabbed that. I think that was like a quid or so. Not much money. And uh, we then grabbed some anime books. I think they were two quid for the three. Uh, some DS games. Narnia, Ratatouille and Spectrobes. They were 50p each. Wii games, 50p each. Got a Titanic one there. That one might do well given the, uh, the news at the minute going around with the Ocean Gate scandal so nice and current pair of kiddies dot martins well they were quite cool paid a tenner on those don't know if i overpaid on those there probably not they're nice 
Uh, got some Geox trainers. Apparently these are app controlled by your phone, so you can you turn them on, charge them up with USB and whatnot, and then you can make the backs flash whatever colour you want. I thought that was pretty snazzy, and they were only two quid. They don't even look like they've been worn. So yeah, lovely stuff. We'll have those all day long. Uh, we got a Connect Sports Xbox 360 and a retro Casio scientific calculator. I think I got the two for three quid there for the same store. Some Gantt scarves with autumn and winter coming up. I think they were a quid each. Now get those listed in ready for ready for autumn. Uh, I'll grab this Oxford helmet bag. Never go wrong with a helmet bag. That's for the personal collection. Uh, keeping this one till last because there's a funny story with that. We've got Pride and Prejudice BBC there, Jane Austen. There's a bit of a Jane Austen theme going on. You might have spotted already. We'll come back to that. That was 50p, I think. Oh, this bad boy. I think this was two quid, three quid. The entire illustrated library, Jane Austen. Pretty cool. Gold pages. It's not in the greatest condition, but it's not in bad condition. But yeah, doing well with Jane Austen books at the minute. To that and uh, we've got a satellite finder Koenig Electronics that was like 50p a pound brand new sealed in the box we'll grab that 50p a pound forgetting the prices a good job I've been recording got some Karcher now how do we do this so let's start with this there's a Karcher window vac premium window vac the woman said it works I've just not got the charger for it. The instruction manual's in there. There's a bottle. It turned on. There you go. So I thought, yeah, for a couple of quid, we'll have that. In fact, I think it was a fiver. So I grabbed that, but she said, oh, no charger. I was like, right, I'll have to get a charger then. Went to another store, and there was some more window vac accessories. And believe it or not, the woman at the other stall actually had the charger for it for a pound. So how about that for luck? So that's that. And then there are also some Dyson vacuum accessories. These always, always do well. So yeah, Dyson stuff's expensive. Not too much hair tangled in it. We'll give those a clean up. Might even be useful for myself, actually, for my Dyson in the garage. I used to clean the cars out. And that's about it. Oh no, one more bag left. Some more Stephen Kings. So we got some 50p paperback Stephen Kings. And then some big hardback Stephen Kings. They were £2 each. I think I overpaid on those to be fair. But I was just getting excited to keep building this Stephen King collection I've got going at the minute. RRP on these is £17.99. So yeah, happy days. And I think that is a damn good haul very very happy with today so thanks for tuning in hope you like the recap um yeah anyone willing to come round and help me list it all it'd be much appreciated <laughs> yeah i'll uh, better get this home then and i'll see you in the next one hope you enjoyed see you later and as you can see the ovens have opened Feel sorry for anyone still at the car boot with all this stuff out getting wet, but unfortunately that's the way it goes sometimes. You just got to get on the floor and get it in the old boot. But uh, we did well. We've cleaned up. We're back in the car. We're dry. We're on our way back. It's all good. Lovely stuff. <laughs>